Yo, 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 yo. How do I even say this? Tomorrow we watch Chelsea versus Manchester United. It's going to be like dumb and dama arguing or fighting about who's smarter. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a funny one to see mama me i can't wait for this game ladies and gentlemen i'm talking about chelsea football club versus manchester united at the bridge hopefully tomorrow i can sing stamford bridge is burning down burning down <laughs> burning down anyway hit the like button we have a uh, somebody who supports chelsea who's going to be part of this conversation so I can't wait. Let's get it started. Okay, okay, okay. First things first. I have to tell you that, you know, uh, Ten Hag's second part of the co press conference has just been released maybe a couple of minutes ago we're gonna look at that we're gonna look at that um you know some of it together anyway but but before before we go any further i just want to say shout out to the people in the building i appreciate you so much for being here i see you stephanie shout out to you shout out to you so much and matter of fact i just want to say like this let me say it like this okay Hit the like button if, if at all, if at all you see, um, let me show you what I'm looking at. Let me show you what I'm looking at. Hit the like button if you see your team on the Premier League table. Look at that. <laughs> Hit the like, subscribe if you see your team on the Premier League table. You see right here, we have Poch FC in the building. Bro, are you here? Bro. Bro. <laughs> Do you see your team? Do you bro. see? I'm looking for your team, bro. You just did me dirty, bro. <laughs> bro. I'm looking for your team. <laughs> bro. That. Wow. <laughs> did you see me edit it right up to 11? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Man. Oh, <laughs> come on. Yo, yo. No, but you see. When you go to the next page, we are first. <laughs> that's, that's good. That's good. We're first on the second page, man. You're first on the second page. That's on the second page. Bro, what's going on? Why would, I, why, would I, why would I want to be in the middle on the first page? No, no, no. Damn. Oh, boy. Oh, bro. What's been going on with our clubs, man? We've been the clowns. Of of this season, bro, you know, bro. It's uh, you know, it's one of those seasons. <laughs> yeah, but but you know what's funny actually? Mm. I still, I still have a feeling we can turn our season around. Jesus is I run to where, bro? <laughs> what do you mean? Okay, okay. Your only saving grace is you're still in the FA Cup, right? That's your yeah, only yeah. thing that you can, like, like, honestly, that's the thing that could maybe, maybe, maybe save you guys, save Pochettino, because I don't even know what his, his future is. You, you are Poch FC, interestingly. And yeah. uh, 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 there's some quite interesting parallels between our fan bases because of just the predicament that we find ourselves in. But but I I I'm I'm curious. I'm curious. Like, how would you say? Uh, what would you say yours comes down to? Because you know, your your it's, 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 good, it's very it's honestly it's very simple. Okay. But but people. Like at this point, it's very hard to make this argument to fans because you know, you know, as football fans, we are emotional. Like you know, you lose a game or you draw a game, you think you are supposed to win, and then all of a sudden. But like for Chelsea, bro, yeah. the, the only reason we are where we are is because our team is this young. Okay, like that's it. That's, that's literally it. 
Interesting. Okay. It's, so, I, like, I've actually taken some time to think about it. And, like, you see these players have, like, these moments of brilliance. And then you, re- you remember, oh, like, Malogusto is great, but he's 20 yeah. years old. Like, at some point in a 90-minute game, he might switch off. Right? I, I hear you. So you have that spread across the team because the team is filled with 21, 22-year-olds. Mm. And then you take that on top of the fact that they have all just been put together. So A, they don't know each other, and B, they are all not equally as, ex- as experienced. So, so yeah. So everything grow together. together. Like that's it. The league also at the same time, that experience right. playing together at the same time. It's like, you know, good pieces that you don't really, but still don't know quite how, to, how they yeah. complement yeah. each other, you know? Like, and, honestly, actually, yeah. I think we've done ourselves more harm by the changes, the constant changes we've made. Like, when we got all the players together, when we got all the young players together, yeah. Like last season, honestly, I, I think if we had kept Potter, would be better. Like, not because Potter is a better coach than Poch, okay. but this team just needed to settle. Like, that's all this team needs. I know fans are upset now. If we change Poch, right? Yeah. Whoever comes in is resetting again. And, you know, like the dynamic. Whew. So they need continuity. That's all we need. Uh, I, 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 you know, you're actually now like set touching on the thing where, you know, when I was saying the parallels between our fan bases, you know, yeah, um, these, these people obviously that are reactionary for reactionary sake, that some people that are actually, you know, um, you know, uh, before I get deep into this, by the way, I see some people in the chat, more people joining in. Shout out to what's everyone. Up, what's up, people? Oh, what's up? What's up? Mental ball game as well. He's been here. Yale has been here, by the way. Shout out to you. Also, NUFC Realist TV. Shout out to you. Big up, Nick. Um, and Banana Silva as well. <laughs> Banana Silva is encouraging me. Banana Silva, you're bad. You're bad. If we troll them too much and then they beat us tomorrow. <laughs> then you and I have to stand together, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so, no, like, but I'm so, <laughs> and, uh, this is <laughs> right, yo. So, but 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 there is there is um the thing that I'm saying about about um the parallels on 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 um our fan bases, and you talked about resetting, and that's the thing is if we if. Here's how I'm not Ten Hag out, but I'm also not yeah. Ten Hag in, right? Right. It's because yeah. I'm, I'm continuity in. That's, yeah. where, that's, that's the thing that I want to stand behind. It's more about, bro, we've seen, we've, like these different areas where you can adjust this thing, you know, about how to really, really rejuvenate and rebuild a club. But like, if we don't um, focus on, if we only focus on one area, then how we it doesn't make sense to just keep changing one part of the whole organism because the whole ecosystem is big, right? There's right. The, there's the, we couldn't change the Glazers, but Sir Jim is the best that we could do now. Right. Sir Jim comes in, he, you know, now like the, he's, the... He's putting people in places to do the things, exactly, right? Exactly. And now yeah. those people now have to really give us the players that really allow us to become a really cohesive um, organization and right. now 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 the problem is also you know people are like yes yes you know they there the, there is like the people that have certain different standards in the rebuild and rightfully so everybody has a right to their opinion i believe no you know nobody's opinion is better it's it's just more like what do you some people would rather have a rebuild and a rebuild where they always stay above a certain position you know, and that position varies for everybody. Some somebody else is seventh, somebody else is fourth, somebody else is they can accept tenth. You, I feel like because you're talking, you want Pochettino in there. You'll still be fine if you win just an FA Cup, and and then from there, like you finish. Where are you right now? Twelfth, <laughs> thirteenth. You're twelfth right now. We're but twelfth like, right now. But, the time but, we, but, but tomorrow, we have like thirteenth, like right? But but bro, like we have about two or three games in hand. We've only played twenty eight games because because, games. You, 
So when you play us, it'll be twenty nine, right? But, but that will put you. We'll still, we'll still, we still have one game in hand over it's you guys. Okay, over like Bournemouth, you Wolves, Brighton, and okay, yeah, sure, 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 sure. You you just have one game like in hand. We, There's two games in hand because we have twenty nine games. You have twenty eight games. Nine. Right. Yeah. Why are you yeah. trying to trick me with the I'm just saying, you know, that's why I'm like... <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, go ahead. Sorry, I interrupted you. Season, that's that's you know, bro, there's still something in the season, you know? There's still something in the season. If you know we're in the mud, we can... <laughs> you can get a little less money. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I feel like there's still... There's no place on the ladder. We can still try and climb out of this mud. You know. I mean, bro, bro. it doesn't look that different from, like, look, last season. Bro, you look, just, see, see, United... This is season, season, last season. Look at where you ended last season. Right? No, no. Last season, we were, we were not... This season, we are slightly better than last season. No, you see what I'm looking at? Yeah, no, I know last season, the relegation was, at one point, was a reality. That could potentially you were like we just need to get above thirty nine no, points or we, something. We need we needed forty points. Uh, you needed days. forty points exactly, and and now uh, Frank, Lamp- Frank Lampard scared me for a little bit. You know, I was like, ah, is, is Frank going to get these? At least get us a draw, bro. He came, he just kept losing match after match after. <laughs> <laughs> He came with the vibes. The vibes were not vibing, man. <laughs> yeah, it was just vibe FC. <laughs> so, so this was last season, and you finished 12th with yeah, one, man. so 44. Then you're definitely doing better than that. This season you have 40 points. So you have to win, you know, you're gonna win, you're gonna get at least how many points do you think? This season we are creating more chances, we are scoring more goals, we've had more okay. entertaining games. The difficulty is that. Charlie, the boys concede. <laughs> the boys just concede goals, you know. Okay, so this, bro, this is what gives me faith. I think, I think, I think we're actually going to be, uh, you know. We've considered two goals score. in our last five games. Two you considered each. two goals each, each of our last five games. We've considered two goals. Yikes, yikes. Okay, and you couldn't beat a 10 men Burnley. So we are coming with eleven men, <clears throat> bro. People, that thing. People, people get that. People are overhyping this whole Burnley thing. Yeah. Why? Why do you say that? Real quick, bro, before look. I go. Huh? Yes. Yes. Chelsea were the clear favorites. Chelsea should have won. We know that, right? Mm-hmm. So we can put that aside. But like. It's nothing new that Burnley is beating Chelsea. This game, we didn't even lose. Antonio Conte, bro. Mm. Sean Dyche brought Burnley to Stamford Bridge and beat Antonio Conte 3-2. <laughs> Sean Dyche is Burnley. <laughs> he says Sean Dyche is Burnley. Right? <laughs> so, like, Burnley, you know, like... And honestly... Like, Burnley play good football. Okay. They're not a bad team. Their only problem is that they are usually not able to finish. And in this game, like, the second goal, our goalkeeper should have done better. Like, the first goal, the players just kind of fell asleep. You know, the goals we conceded. So, it's fine. Hmm. We'll concede. <laughs> that one there. But, but, but we are scoring a lot. So, that's the, that's the, that's the upside. Yeah. We are scoring a lot of goals now. Mental Ball Games says we are still coming with 10 men anyway because we are... (laughs) 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 But, bro, no, Rashford, Rashford, Rashford is usually good against Chelsea, man. The only thing that might save Rashford for me, in my opinion, is if for some reason I've been hearing these Malo Gusto that he's not hundred percent fit. If he nah, does, Malo is fit, man. He's playing. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. You mean the Twitter guys lied to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they did. Ah, bro, Malo. Yeah, bro. Malo. Yeah, Malo is on. He's here. He's on. 
He's training. He's smiling. He's got smiles on his face. No, Malo Gusto is fit, bro. So, so he's actually him and Conor Gallagher for me are the guys that I honestly feel like they're the they're the reliable, reliable Chelsea um, um, players. Obviously, Cole Palmer, you know, but but um, don't sleep, don't sleep yeah, on Michael Jackson, man. <laughs> We're going to put Nicholas Jackson in the fridge, bro. Maguire is going to be on fire and he's going to just lock, lock, lock um, uh, Nicholas Jackson in there and leave him freezing, you know? Make now, sure, I don't think I, all I will say is make sure Nico doesn't get Maguire in a 1v1. That's all. Mm. Just make well, sure. Who, who scares me? The defender that scares me the most in 1v1s for Man United was is Lindelof, and Lindelof is injured. So, like, I'm actually a little less, less, like, uh, I know, I know the yeah. thing about, I'm a little less scared about Maguire, especially because, like, I think it, it's like this. If Ten Hag puts him on the left center back position, right, yeah. and uh, um, says, well, we know that Varane is fit. At first, it was like, oh, we don't know about Varane. But I think Varane is fit and Johnny Evans. So so Varane, if I was Ten Hag, I'd leave uh, Varane for Liverpool. And for you guys, the partnership is Johnny Evans and Maguire. And if so, Maguire... So, so you, are coming to, you are coming to park the train. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the train nice. is like fun, bro. <laughs> it's going to be the, the Dutch double decker. You're, you're bringing the double decker. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> it's gonna be fun, bro. Bro, uh, 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 uh. But you know, you know what's funny though. When we played you at uh, at the, you know, at Old Trafford, yeah, I thought you guys were going to sit deep, and then you came out and you played, and bro, you that game was one of the worst performances we put up this 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 season. It was one of the our best performances. It was this so season. bad. Bro, we were so bad. We, like yeah. <laughs> let me let me let me let me parking the bus depot says Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Bro. Like the moment you mentioned Maguire and Johnny Evans, I knew yeah, these guys are bringing the. They are not leaving the box. <laughs> no, 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 no. The box is leaving the box is and, over. And then you put uh, you put uh, Casemiro and uh, Kobe Menu. Yes, yes, yes. We'll actually get to to to. I want just to do a, a, a combined eleven real quick before yeah. we finish this. But I want to also welcome Ronald in the building. Top red. Hey. What's up? What's up? I, I kind of oh. love this. Nah, whoa, 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 who? Connor, who? Connor, who? Wow. Give me them damn cigarettes, boy. <laughs> Connor, who? Wow. Connor, who? Connor Gallagher. Yes. You rate him. Are you for the blonde boys? No, <laughs> we don't support the blonde Listen, boys. Run out, run out. Who? Run out. Connor Gallagher. Ah, run out. Nah, you can't. Nah. Performance wise, nah. the sassy. Listen. The sassy. <laughs> Disaster. <laughs> In the making, <laughs> Nicholas Jackson. Man said, "Don't be sleeping on Nicholas Jackson." That man himself has been sleeping the entire season. The uh, only time he looked good was against Tottenham. Nine men. Uh, a man has to look good as a striker against nine men. He needed nine men on pitch to look good, and you're telling me to be scared? Have you have you watched Nicholas Jackson since the Afcon? <laughs> I don't need to, because I can't. He's chilling with them in 12th. He's chilling with Bournemouth, Wolves, and all of those guys. Deadwood people over there. Bro, you're in 12th. You're chilling with those man them, bro. Your man them are Wolves, Fulham, Bournemouth. That's your man them, bro. No, that's, that's your level. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. No, you're right, you're right. Also, also this, season, look, we, this season, we deserve it. I can't, I can't even. This season, I can't. what did you do last season? <laughs> I just right. showed him last season as the only. We, he, we, he we, we, memory. we deserve it even more this season. <laughs> bro, you th- nah, 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 I can't allow this, bro. You, nah, you guys, you guys are criminal, bro. <laughs> you guys have people, young, bare men, locked up, jailed abroad. Some of them are away from their houses. <laughs> you have them on lockdown for eight years. Yo, yo. Bro, two more years. That's juvenile. <laughs> He's like, that's juvenile. Bro. Bro, what kind of prison is that? 
Man, if we lose to this Chelsea now, we're really, really, really bad. That's that's what that double game is saying. Yeah, Ooh, we might know? be bad in one game. They've been bad whole season. Doesn't change anything. Yeah, but but seriously, seriously, we got to do better. Look at this head-to-head record. Doesn't it give you encouragement? Ronald, look at it. 2-1, 4-1. I don't see a loss. What's the most recent game over here? Is it 1-1 one, or 2-1? Two no, one, you no. won. the most recent two one. one. I mean, we have, bro, we haven't beat United in like seven years. Yes. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was missing yeah. that. Yeah. At the bridge too. We have a pretty okay record. You yeah. know. But we're oh, going to beat you yeah. this game. We're going to beat you. Though. No, no, no. For sure, that's what people believe. We like to believe that every game too. <laughs> and we do streams for four hours, telling you Eric Ten Hag is bad. We have some people in there. They bring their white boats. <laughs> How how are you gonna beat us? Who's gonna score for you for you for Chelsea? Bro, our, atta- our attackers actually score goals. Wait, who's we your attack? Sc- we score goals. Check. We've scored more yeah, bro, goals. I don't way- watch your games anymore. Bro, we've so scored way more goals than you guys have. The, the yeah, you scored way more goals against Leicester. True. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh, this yes, whole season in the Premier League, we've scored way more goals than you have. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. So let's see. You what? What do you think the lineup is going to be? Actually, we'll say for the, for, for you guys because I think for it's, us? Oh, it's pretty. Lineup. It's it's pretty easy. Wait, hold on a minute. Wait, hold on a minute. Man said way many, way too many goals. You said that four times, bro. Your goal difference is two. I'm I'm not <laughs> talking about goal difference. I'm talking Mine about is zero. Goals. I'm okay. Yours is two. <laughs> so why did you why did you say it four yeah, times? Yeah, listen, listen. <laughs> Bro. Roland, Roland, you, you, you Roland. said it. No, Roland. Ronald. It's Ronald. Poch FC. Ronald. It's Ronald. Oh, sorry, sorry. Ronald, 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 Ronald. Hold up, hold up, hold up, Ronald. Actually, actually. Yes. How, how are you bringing goal difference in when I'm talking about goals scored? <laughs> no, but, <laughs> but, but yeah. But even goals scored, you scored nine more than you me. Heard me say, you already heard me say that ah. we concede goals. <laughs> I know, I know, Ronald. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! I, when I, when he said that three times, I thought maybe you know what? But, but Ronald, have, have you have checked, have you no, checked no, goals no, scored? No, no, no. Bro, bro, I I I have seen goals scored. It's forty nine, and we have forty. You've played against ten men, Burnley, nine men. We've played Tottenham. one game less than you, and we've scored nine more goals than you. Yeah, but you're playing with team against like nine and ten. You have teams who are dropping players, not yeah. even points. Yeah. So don't tell me about that. And how yeah. how and how is Cole Palmer penalties doing this season? How many has he scored? We, we win those penalties though. Oh, win those penalties or they get we given? We win them. We get fouled in the box. Yes, fouled in the box. Who's getting yeah. fouled in the box? Is it fouled in the box or is Sterling getting on his ass every f- five minutes? When he dives, he gets yellow cards. He gets punished. Oh yeah, how many has he got VAR, this season? That, yeah, there's VAR. Oh Check VAR! Them. All of a sudden, fam, you want to talk about VAR? VAR. <laughs> No, when no, but this is this is mental potch. When you said way, way, said, way, he, I thought maybe said, Matt. You know what? Who's going to score for us? Like we don't score goals. We score more goals than you. He's we've asking seen, you a question. Who's going more to score? Goals than you. Like, is that is not it a Mudrick? Fact? Is it Mudrick? So is that is not a Mudrick fact? Score? Is it is it Mudrick? Oh, is it not a fact that we scored more goals than you? You have oh, the oh. worst goal scoring record oh. in the top. Like, but ten. Poch, the question is who's scoring for you? I can tell you who can score for for me. I it's can tell you that. That's not good With to confidence. Bring out Look, I'm looking at the goal. No, no, no forget, is... forget that. No, no, no. I know. Why? I've seen no, no, no. Let's not already. forget that. We are talking about goal no, scoring. I've seen. I know. I know your problem has been your attackers have. If McTominay doesn't start tomorrow, who is scoring for you? If McTominay doesn't start, Holland, Holland is scoring. Tomorrow. Holland, Rashford. Holland. Amad Bruno Diallo Fernandez has scored against you. Ahmad Diallo can score. Garnacho can Diallo. score. Garnacho can put your dead man. Uh, what, what, what's his name? Thiago Silva in a spliff. He's just sitting with his wife and chilling. His wife has to do the talking. She's doing more talking than the man himself. Okay. Who's wearing the pants I, in that I, relationship? Champion. Champion. I have so many questions. Champion. <laughs> champion. Right now, Ronald. Ronald is. <laughs> Ronald. <laughs> See, even Ronald, you're laughing. Ronald. Ronald. Let me tell you something. Actually, you are talking about Thiago Silva, right? Yeah. Since, tomorrow, right. since Thiago Silva got dropped mm-hmm. after the game against Wolves, when his wife tweeted, 
Yeah. We haven't lost a game in 90 minutes. Oh, so she was the jinx. She... No. <laughs> Her no. Twitter was the jinx. <laughs> no. Then? It's simple. I've, I've explained this to you, bots. No? Yeah. <laughs> Even bots is confused Explain right again. now. Explain it again. <laughs> well, no, it's very simple. Poch wants to play with a high line. Tiago makes that difficult. Tiago is an exceptional ah. defender, but because of that, we had to either play with a deep line or leave a gap between the defense and the midfield. Yeah, he 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 was always like the sweeper. But, yeah, but because of cho- because not by choice. Yeah, and then against Wolves, mm-hmm. someone I forget who it was, I think it was Pedro Neto, bro, one mm-hmm. v one, just burnt Tiago like he wasn't there. See, we also now have somebody. If if, no, if I heard that, I heard that it's so beautiful. Your words, Poch, they moved me. But your point was. But point is, since oh. we dropped Tiago, in been that game, that. <laughs> yeah, we haven't okay. lost a match in ninety minutes. Oh, is that so? Yes, you're about to lose tomorrow. That's the confidence. That's the confidence we need, Ronald. That's the no, why, why, why would I be scared? Ronald, why, this is one thing I, I want to scared? say. Ronald, don't yeah. talk like this and then Ten Hag comes and parks the bus. <laughs> really? Bro. Because if he comes and he okay. parks the bus. Uh-huh. <laughs> you take, take a minute, laugh it off. The <laughs> laughing would be over for you in a minute anyways. Go on. I'm just, it's just funny to me now. Okay, while you find it funny, I'm going to read uh, Yarley's comment. One second. What is Yarley saying? Actually, we can make fun of Chelsea as much as we want to, but if they beat us and then they win that extra game in hand, how many points will they be behind us? Anyone want to do the math? Fine, I'll do it. It'll be just dos. Punto. Yeah, but then what's what's what are the upcoming games? You have to look at it in context to it. Like you just can't tell me, oh, they're gonna win okay. the next two games after United. Well, after well, United, we're playing Sheffield. <clears throat> that's how, how did how did that end last time? When we played Sheffield. Yeah. I'm you won. Sure. You won. No, you won. At I the think. Bridge, you won. Everton. Chelsea won two nil. I think yeah, and Ev- how was Everton? Everton won. So yeah, I mean, yeah, again, at the end of the day, it, it's up to Everton. it's up to a discussion, you know. So let's not let's not say like Chelsea is sitting at the top of the league, and you know when that, then then we're making fun of them. So let's not do that. No, we are not. No. Yeah. But, but it's we're a real not. real possibility that I mean, if Everton does the double on Chelsea this season, then then it's it's it's. What really if we do the double? Wait, what if we do the double? <laughs> Has no, it not been done before? Double. What do you think? It's man, you, you saw I, the I love this confidence. Bring it, bring it, bring it. Yeah. Yeah, I love Bro, this. I love this. Is, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Yes, brother. Right You're talking about bring confidence. Bro, there are teams like Wolves who turned up with confidence against you. Yeah. So why are you worried about my confidence? Care about yours. Where wolves, is it? Wolves actually came... Look, look, at your man, look at your man them over there. Look at the table and the screen. Wolves, yeah. Olmer, right here on the Olmer, screen. Crystal yeah. Palace. Those are your man them. How the mighty have fallen. We have fallen, but you've fallen twice as us. But, but I, yeah, yeah, that yeah, is very true. Now we have Liverpool, though, um, starting on, on Sunday, right? Yeah, oh, no, you beat, you beat I, I never already. said. You did did I bring that point? No, 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 no. But did I? Again. But but Yarley, we never brought that point up, did we? We never said that next two games we win. Oh, how close would we be to Tottenham? No, as if Tottenham's going to lose their next two games. So that 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 makes Yale's point that even if say whatever Everton like you know wins wins one nil versus Chelsea, then we're well, more or less the distance is still the same between us, and they could easily catch up. If like they go yeah. on to win, obviously. You, you, you see, this is this is the problem, bots. You say you, know? you say Co Palmer three times, and Chelsea Dan has woken up in in the chat. Oh, he does. He doesn't even know that <laughs> Stephanie. He doesn't even know that Stephanie's gone asleep. <laughs> He's still atting her. Bro. <laughs> Look at Chelsea Dan. Chelsea Dan, Dan in the house, avoiding the preview conversation. R- Ronald. Chelsea Den has been... Avo- we were supposed to have this conversation yesterday. No, no, no. Bro, I, I'll be Chelsea honest with Den. you. No, 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 no. I'll be honest with you. I can, I can have a humble conversation with Poch. Yeah. 
Chelsea, Dan, it has to be the aftermath. <laughs> Whatever happens, whoever wins, it has to be after the game. I can't talk to this guy. You know, you know if the you game. Win, Chelsea Den is not showing up. You know that, right? <laughs> it's okay. Oh He's See, like, this is not doing a double on us. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure when he types that, he's red and his BP is high. <laughs> <Pressure is high. laughs> yeah, this this is definitely a must win. Okay, so so, 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 so run out. You know, you know, you know, you know what I think. What? Yeah, what? I think I think the issue mm-hmm. is that I can see. I can see, like, I, I know exactly what United's strengths are and how you can hurt us. But I don't think you know how we can hurt you. See, the thing is, Poch, when, when I look at stats, right, I'm a, I'm a guy who looks at stats as well. Yeah. When I look at stats, He's I don't know how you would out. hurt us. Because when we played you, we won 2-1. But at? the last time we played you, we won 2-1. We had nine shots on target. You had three. Yes. So what am I? So even I don't know what I should be expecting, because you don't know what you're doing. Because and because, you played your strongest team. I had to play Amrabat, yeah. Amrabarrisment in my midfield, while yeah. you played mighty Caicedo and mighty Endo Fernandez. You paid two hundred and twenty million pounds for those two guys, that doesn't really and you anything. still sucked. You still lost the game. Pause. That was one of our worst performances this season. Yes. No, <laughs> it might be your Chelsea, worst. Every Chelsea but at the, fan no. will tell you that. But at the end of the day, you yeah. still lost. I had Amber Barrisman and McTominay in my yeah. midfield. While yeah. you had these two big, big Goliaths. I'm not yeah. even talking about Sterling, Mudrick, so, so, Armour so, and Nicholas so, Jackson. You so paid more that, money so over even there. In game, so even in that game. So even in that game, right? You know, if, if I take 220 Runner, million, I can buy OGDs twice. Yeah, no, me, I don't know. If I take, if I let's hold on, hold on, shush everyone. If I no, wait, wait, I wanna, but keep, keep, finish the point that you want to say. I want to welcome. I, I'm just gonna finish this point, then we welcome my brother, right? I'm Thank just gonna you. say, <laughs> Pot, Pot, all I'm saying is, if I take 220 yeah. million dollars twice, yeah. right, I can <clears> buy OGDs <throat> twice, I can buy them, and I can buy them again. And I can still have money left over to buy Cope Hammer. So you have an issue with how we spent our money. That's fine. I hear you. That's not what I'm talking about. Even you have, you should have issue with that because you tried to play catch up with us. We spent one billion in ten years. You did that in two seasons. Because we built a team that should last us ten years. That's why they are all young. That's why they are all. And they're still losing two one to us. Because why do people expect us to, the team to be so good already? The the team just got together. This is the so point you, I'm trying so to make. So you're building, right? so you're building a team I, I, I for five years from you now. As a Chelsea fan who watches our games week in, week out, we are trending nowhere else but upwards. Po- Poch, I know on, that on scale, all other. Bro, on, let me okay. let me let me let me finish realistically, this. Realistically, realistically, on a scale of one to ten, yeah. How much do you hate watching the games right now? I actually don't. You don't? I don't. That's I actually shocker. yes. I actually enjoy watching our games. I Even do. the ones where you are struggling versus Burnley. Bro, this is the thing. So the way Maybe I watch Chelsea games now, the way I watch Chelsea games now is I don't go in with the expectations. I only ask oh. myself one question. I only ask myself one question. Which Chelsea is going to show up today? Because that's been a whole season. That's been like, if the Chelsea that plays, that played Man City shows up, if the Chelsea that played Liverpool, even in the Carabao Cup shows up, if the Chelsea that played Newcastle, the Chelsea that went and beat Aston Villa at their home, like that, the team that we've seen this season, that sometimes, bro, they play beautiful football. Fantastic. God bless you with that right? one. But and you tell then, me how then, exactly times, did you lose to us when we were playing left back, course. Luke Shaw? Yes, we lost to you. We wait, know that. On. That's not the no, point no, no. I'm trying hold to make. On. That's hold not my on. point. Please, let me talk. Point. Let me my talk. point is, we were playing out. Luke Shaw, left run back, that's no, fine. No, you, we no, know. You we understand that. Hot. This is you this is the point, point I am trying to make we that you don't to want to hear. I can address me, this point. Let me please let hold me on. finish my point. Let me finish my point. Okay, you finish. All your I'm point. trying to say is, I know how you can hurt us because I know that you have experienced players that even if the going gets tough and they play terrible, Bruno can pop up with a goal. Right. So for me, I know that like 
Bruno can pop up with something out of nowhere. McTominay might come and just like pop up with something. You have that spirit. But as a team, you are terrible. Okay. You are and terrible. Like oh. on, a, on a good day, when we play at our best and you play at your best, football this season, you, no. Okay, okay. Now, now, yeah, Poch, let me, now, 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 Poch, 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 let me, wait, wait. I want to welcome two people in this Okay, you welcome people now. Big up to but let me, let me continue my point. Welcome them. You continue, continue it after I welcome them in. Wait, because Mark and uh, Man for Ballon d'Or in the house. Shout out to you guys. Yo. Yo, wait. Mount, Mount, Mount for Ballon d'Or. I need to know what's your real name, bro. It's Mount for Ballon d'Or. Mount, 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 Mount is starting his first game against Chelsea. And he's going to score, the- and he's going to score too. Actually, you know, it would be poetic. Just, it, it would be amazing for. Like, no, no, but, but you know, what, you know what would be funnier if he comes in and scores an own goal. No, well, please, please, hold on, hold on. I have to complete my point because wait, Mark, please. I was, I was on a one. I know you're on a roll. I know you're on a roll, panel. Yeah, let me complete my point then. If I was on a roll, right? Hold on, right? Watch, I see one question before you come. Bro, your question would take his ten minutes to answer. So please hold on. But Poch FC. Yo. Please tell me, the last yeah. time we came to your yard, or you yeah. came to our yard, yeah. we beat you with yeah. Luke Shaw, Lindelof, Harry Maguire, and Diego Delo. Yeah. Right? We yeah. beat you with that. Yeah. Now, we have Diego Delo, yeah. Harry Maguire, the same yeah. guy, two yeah. same guys, but yeah. Varan and Aaron Manbisaka. How are you confident that you would beat us? Where is this confidence coming in from when we have Kobe Minow in, in midfield and non-embarrassment? We have mm-hmm. Casemiro back and not McTominay. Where is this confidence coming in you? So, uh, can I answer? Can I, I, can I, I am beating. Something? Because last time I had to play Anthony. Now I can play Rashford. I can play Hoyland. I can play Garnacho. I have <laughs> options. You were talking about Bruno Fernandes can pop up and oh, score a goal. I wish I could say that for Enzo Fernandes. Yeah. It doesn't see? matter. Now, still, see? Now, now it looks bad. Goal. We still score huh? goals. Oh it Jesus Christ! You still, still score. score goals. You you still okay? If saying. okay, you're okay. You're you're the kind of bu- see. I'm the kind of bully who would beat Conor McGregor. You're the kind of bully who's beating people with diabetes, people with disabilities. Have you watched us play football this season? Be the right bully. <laughs> no, no one <laughs> wants to see you. <laughs> but you watch Man U, and you don't think no one wants to see us. Have you seen the football you play? <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Did you watch the game? Okay, okay. So tell me. Okay, okay, okay. Brentford. Brentford. See, see your level? Brentford. Okay, so please tell me the same level of football you played against. We played against Liverpool, right, Poch? Please tell me a comparative football that you played that we played against Liverpool. Mount, Mount. You see, so we we beat Liverpool, we beat Liverpool in a certain way. You tell me what equivalent performance have you had? Against Liverpool? <laughs> no, no. I said we beat a team like <laughs> Liverpool 4-3. Yeah. What is your performance? What are you bringing to the table? I brought that to the table. That's what, my style of play. Which, you which tell me table? what's yours. Oh, wait. bro, mute yourself. <laughs> Swear no, to God. What are you really bringing to the table? Bro, you fluked your way, you fluked your way all the way up to six. What are you bringing to the table? We fluked our way. You, le- you fell on your ass till 12th. And we you're, you're hurting now. We have. But you know what's funny, though? You are going to have to go through what we are going through because your whole team is going to need to be turned over, bro. Your entire team. Jesus Christ. Your whole team is going to need to be turned I am, over. I am suffering with old men. You're suffering with young men. Look at yes. you. And the funny thing is, we are trending upwards. You are trending downwards. That's, the, upwards. that's the Even your fan base should be disgusted with you, bro. Yeah. Mark, 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 turn your volume up. For some reason, your volume is really... Yeah, Mark, really you low. sound like a... You're, you're sounding Mark, like an Mark, athlete. What's good, you bro? Sound like, you sound like Rick Ross. Yeah, another yeah. one. Yeah, I, yeah, no, no. <laughs> Mark, we can't it sounds hear, like we can't it sounds hear. like I'm doing a song and you're like Rick, you're, you're, you're the like athlete. there in the background. Yeah, yes. you're the athlete. Another one. <laughs> you're the, you're the Mark, mic. Mark, get this mic close to you or something. I can't hear you, bro. Bro, we still can't hear you. The I can see the mic, not hear you. 
I can literally see the mic. Lean over. What? Stop talking, rubbish. Yeah, there we go. Talking too hard. There we go. Mark, I'm actually gonna gonna leave you with the key because I have to be mobile, so you'll you'll close the shop. But <laughs> but uh, no Manj also wants the link. But go ahead, go ahead and say what you were saying because we on, couldn't. I wanted to talk to address Pochasti. He keeps saying he trended upwards, bro. Yes. In Levant. Let me be real. You've been in Levant for the last six months. Yeah. Stop talking about trending upwards. You're yes. trending nowhere but mid table. Yes. Right, stop. Hold on. Let me finish. Right? You keep talking about your score goals and this and Conor Gallagher, that and Enzo and Caicedo. Bro, you're losing. Your best performance was two draws against Man City. Your best. That was your nope, best that performance. Was not. Of the season. That was not. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Your best performances of the season, bro. That we were actually. Yeah, you're tr- I hear yeah, you talk, you're trending upwards plenty, bro. I'm listening to you and Ronald Rambling. Right? The reality is this, bro. Yeah. Your team. In dire straits, bro. It's yeah. not because your team don't have quality players or whatever. I don't know about Poch. I was your not team, rambling, though. Your team just lacking the experience of a team in perspective. They, they, they never played together before this season. There's yeah. young players coming to the league that have no experience in the league. Which, to be fair to him, Mark, that's what he said at the beginning of the street. Yeah, that, but let me be real. Those, you can't talk about your trending upwards when you're in 11 for six months. But, but Mark, see, Mark, see, the, see, Mark, the problem is, Mark, the problem is, he got pressed, so he thought he has to press now. If you are curious, what you would ask me is, what makes you think that you you are trending upwards? Then I can tell you. No, listen, listen, listen. I just live in the real But world. you don't want to know that. Imagine all kind of things. Because wait, wait, wait! Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me listen to some. I'll tell you. I'll Mark, tell you. Mark, let's listen to some delusion. Let's listen to some delusion. Please tell us, Poch. Please tell us. Because I was on my little monologue, right? Enjoy. Yeah. Enjoy Mark, finish. Monologue. Mark, finish. I just say now, Poch FC, right? Yeah. United might have one. Poch really FC. Who the fuck is Poch FC? Game, right. Oh. Uh, being God. When so I this is worse than the Chelsea fan base power. Fuck? <laughs> you say that oh, and Shea walks in. Bring Chelsea down in here to chat shit. Hey, no. We were, hey, 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 hey. Let's welcome Chelsea dead in the house. Well, let's also oh, welcome Shea as Chelsea well. <laughs> Arsenal. Oh, Jesus oh, Christ. This is chaos oh, now. Hey, Chelsea Dan is here. It's I'm only here blood pressure well. rising. Wrong, Change the name well. of the stream from Football finish. Power Hour to I Blood Pressure know. Rising. Hey, hey, listen, no. I listen, listen, listen. Yeah. Mark, Mark, you and I have a job now. Everybody gets a save, Mark. And then Chelsea Dan. Everybody, don't speak over other people. Yeah, Mark, you and I have a job. Just know, okay. let, me, let me finish Porchester because I was listening to him and Ron, Ronald Coral, right? Yes. The reality is, bro, we're not saying that, you know, Chelsea in do well in some games, but your best performances, hands down, any, name any one fan, I'm pretty sure Monk Ballon d'Or will agree as well, that I'm not disrespecting you all by saying it was the draw against Man City. But right. you, 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 oh, Mark, you're waffling. We, we, we bad Arsenal. We bad Arsenal, yeah. That, and because you were about Sanchez that took the goal in, we clapped. What are you all about? You're waffling. You're waffling. Yeah. You're waffling. We had the best. We the big games we played so far this season. Right, you got and your excuse that Rashford didn't play well. Oh, it's not Ten Hag, the, the, the clown. He, he, oh, this is not <laughs> on him, it's the players. Half of the players, oh, that's not on the players. Why does this sound like Manj? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but they still want to. That's what that's what Mark said. Yeah, hey, I'm not a bad man. Relax, the the I'm thing is, yeah, the thing is, I was spoken to Papa, yeah. Me and Papa <laughs> was on the phone, yeah, on WhatsApp, yeah. Right. Oh, right. Papa oh, crashed it. Yeah, I Papa, like, hey, there's a song for Man United. Is, 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 yeah. is it a younger brother to pay Papa? Hey, 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 Papa, can I sing it, please, quickly? Where are you? Have you ever heard this song? Oh, oh, oh yeah, are falling down. Da, 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 da. Ten Hag is a fucking clown. Da, 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 da. Hey, you know that one straight, don't you? Ten Get out of here, Chelsea! I just want to all the Man United tears. Let's look. Let's look. Let's look at the table. Look where you, you could look, look at the table, but like, screen, we, Mark, we have two games now, and if we win our two if games you, now, we go, you win, we if, go above you. You know what? If is you know what? You, you're you're close yes, falling yes, down yes, now. Then, you can even then, take then, then, let, let one person at a time. Let Mark speak right now, and then Mark will pass you the ball. Actually, Mark will pass it to Manj, and then also I welcome to Shane. Manj already, because I'm handing the keys over to you, Mark, because I'm walking while listening. Anyway, big up, Mark. Big up everyone in this space. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, I wish we, I could we say that just too. let out, allow other people to talk and like so we hear each other. Don't don't yes, hog sir. the ball too much. Exactly. Mug, make your point. Make your point Man, about what I make you my say. point. Look at on the screen. My point is on the screen live. <laughs> There we go. Oh, there they are. That's Chelsea. Yeah, yeah. Man, but Mark, yeah, yeah. Mark, but Mark, the thing is, you've had scrapey yeah. wings and you keep by VAR getting like pennies. What are you on about? You're where you are today because you've got actually scrappy wins. The first game of the season, you should have got slapped hard. You cheat by Wolverhampton the first game of the year. Oh, nine is clearly penny. VAR has helped you out this season, mate. So what are you on about? We don't get helped by VAR. And then Stephanie Griffiths, yeah, talk about Carl Park. All our fun free school more goes to your You time. don't get help by them. You don't get help by VAR. You get help by VAR all the time. You have Sterling falling on his asshole all the damn no, time. No, we don't. You're, you're waffling now, mate. We don't. <laughs> I'm waffling. Bro, decrease your blood pressure. You'll see the light of God. Munch, what are you saying, bro? Voice of reason. People's champ in the building. What's good? Coventry, the voice man. of reason is here. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> can I say something? Either. Yeah, man, sure. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Your name doesn't allow you, but go on. Can I say something? Mount is Mount, Mount of Alondo. Mount, this is the journey. This is Mount's journey. I'm out of here. To, now, uh, to bro, the, I can assure you. I can assure you. I can assure you. you know, <laughs> Bro, Mount. I can assure I can assure you one thing. Kobe Minu might win Ballon d'Or before Mount ever would. <laughs> no, 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 no. Phil Foden, Phil Foden will win the Ballon d'Or. I never, I never. Listen, listen. I have Dan, no, I'm not giving you Dan, a come on. At least give it to Kobe. I haven't bro. given you a timeline. Kobe Palmer will get a Ballon d'Or in Mount. Before Mount, see, see, Chelsea done so easy with you, bro. Let Mount, let Mount for Ballon d'Or land his point, and we will move on to the next guy. So Mount is starting against Chelsea. Hopefully, mm. hopefully it's ninety percent. There's a ninety percent chance. What do you call it, Money Mason? He will a spender. Oh my he, god! He will start. So depending on what happens with him, that will be the journey for Mount to win Ballon. I have faith in Mount to win Ballon d'Or because you know Mount is a very good player. Chelsea didn't know the kind of player he was, how good he was, and they sold them to Manchester United. I think Manchester United. I don't know what, what when you guys were buying Mount. I don't know what, what you were smoking at the time. We didn't sell Mason Mount at Man United. See, you, you're waffling there, mate. I know the story about Mason Mount at Chelsea Football Club, so I don't try to talk rubbish about Mason Mount at Chelsea. Yeah, he's won more trophies than you've done in the last twenty years, decade at Chelsea. And don't come talk to us about Mason Mount, mate. No, no, I'm not talking. No, did you I'm say the last twenty years? Are you smoking pot yeah, as well right Chelsea, now, Chelsea? Chelsea Dan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, he hasn't won ah, up. Hey. Wait, what, Listen, what, 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 since he's been at Man United, what's he actually done for you? What one goal? Mm, it, has he good. been? Has he? You has he been him. at the club for you twenty years? Right, no, you you ruined him. You ruined him. You and sent him he injured. You sent your. You sent your boy injured. You got fuck cool. You know, Mickey Mouse cop last year was like the Champions League, yeah? He's out of treble for you, Mate, that Chelsea's won the treble, mate. Treble, well, mate. You, ne, your place not even do, has done one treble in the last year, decade, mate. What are you on about? But you said 20 years, no? Since we've been fast, since we've You said 20 there, years, no? no? Did you forget the time when your club was being sold for a pound? What? You, she's, you're waffling crap again. You're waffling shit again. Like, waffling Lou, shit. Your, your, your prize of the club was a pound. Was a pound. A you, damn pound. So you're waffling crap. You're a pounder. We, well, let, let, let Nothing more point, than that. Like, you do not know your football IQ. You talk shit, mate. I'll tell you what, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I talk I'm, shit I'm so you can have blood pressure problems. Made, I only do that when you're here. My football club, my football club <laughs> more than you, bro, yeah? You're old trap. <laughs> you know your own football club. You were saying Phil Foden will win the Ballon d'Or before anyone. You forgot Cole Palmer is at your own damn club. Phil Foden will get a Ballon d'Or than, than, than any of your players in the charts because Phil Foden is a baller at Man City. Look what he did tonight. Did you see his three goals? <laughs> tonight? Did you he, forget Cole Palmer has done that before? He's better than Anthony. <laughs> oh, he, he's won yo, a triple yo, yo, yo. <laughs> He's won a triple I waffle. You came down with the name Manchester United falling down and I'm waffling. Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelesy, Chelsea, 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 Chels
No, I'm we up, keep but... it on Chelsea and United. We're not talking about City. We're not talking about... Yeah, Liverpool. exactly, bro. Why is right? he bringing no, up them conversations? You know, it's all about Mason Mount. It's all about Mason Mount. going to win a Bella Dwight Man United. You know, Man United's room. Bro, bro, we are talking right. about Mason Mount. Why are we mentioning Phil Foden? Yeah, but I have no idea. Song. Talk about this guy. This is weird, though. Money Mason about Man United. Yeah? I said Messi Mount is winning by one door. You're mentioning I know that, yeah? uh, uh, So, so he hasn't even completed one year, and we've ruined him. Okay, and your point? Okay, you clearly ruined him, me you? Okay, no, no, and can I, can I, can I, wait, wait, wait. So, okay, hold on, hold on. We ruined him. You know what? We'll can destroy I, him, push and CDM in CDM. we will destroy him. And do you care? You, you sold him. You sold him, didn't you? So why no, do you care? No, we did care? sell him. See, get your facts, bro. No, we didn't sell you, him. Oh, you did not get money? No, no. You see, you don't know the, the, the difference. Huh? You don't know the story. You don't know the story about Mason Mount. Oh, story. I, I don't care if you were in his house, well, living in his head, house. Yeah. I don't care. Right, right. Todd Bowley, Todd oh. Bowley and Ed Barley, right? The situation was, right? Oh, Reece oh. Was Inside the news, guys. Reese James was on 250k. Yeah, he's on 250k at Chelsea Football Club. The saturation, yeah, Todd Bowley and Ed Barley, right, Mason Mount wanted the same price high score more than Jack Reese James. He wanted about 300k a week. Todd Bowley oh. and Ed Barley, right, said no to the 300k, yeah, because he ain't worth the suffering about 200. Because on our, on our wages now, yeah, we have got a structure that we don't want to spend higher wages. So suddenly, yeah, his dad, as because he's a Man United fan, well, like it's a Chelsea mate, but it's Chelsea and Manu decided he one of the agencies who's good mates of Man United. Yeah, mate, he told Mason Mount if they're not going to give you the high high price, Man United wants you. They offered you sixty five million. We took it. We took the money because of Coburn. And the fact is, yeah, if Mason Mount right did two videos, yeah, he snaked he snaked the bite like Kai Havertz did at Arsenal. Yeah, Kai Havertz came out, yeah, and also Declan Rice came out, right. That the end of the day, Kai Havertz didn't want to leave Chelsea, and Sudden, we sold we sold uh, Kai fl 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 Flippy Floppy at Arsenal for the price because they wanted the money, and he's been shit at Arsenal. So the thing is, yeah, that's where they go. They go to Arsenal to retire at Arsenal. That's what all the Chelsea players do. But Chelsea, do. Dan, all all I'm asking but the you team is, is money made to see, this, right? See. I'm not okay, a money okay. made fan. Hold, hold on. Yes, he I... might have been good for Chelsea, but what has he actually done for you? Oh, he's been injured. We never, are you, are you when done? Chelsea, you never are you got done? Because I'm pulled out of your voice now. He was, he was playing game honest. after game after game. But when it hold comes on. to you, you Dan, you hear one man because, have to see, and the no, two of you Dan, are just cut through. Right? No, because, so because this guy... No, right no, one, one, one second, man, though. Mark, the weird thing... So, the man just going to say what he has to say about the match preview, his view on the game, and what he think Manchester will do, and what the outcome will be, and then I will pass it on to someone else. All right? Cool. Man, big right. bro. Can I finish now? Can I? Mount can carry on, man. I'm enjoying this. this is All right. So on. so I think what is what is going to happen is Macy Mount is going to try his possible best. The reason why I said he's winning Ballon d'Or, it's not really like I'm not saying he's going to win Ballon d'Or, but figuratively, he is going to try his best. This is his former club. And this is a club that sold him. So if if I, and I and I think there's a greater chance of him starting the game. If he starts, he's going to do his possible best to make sure Manchester win the game. Because, oh well, let, let me not say Manchester wins the game, but he's going to make impress, like play his best, so <laughs> that. Oh no, can I can I finish? He's going to play his best so. He will keep because starting, you know, Chelsea Football Club, yeah? all the games that will follow. <laughs> I mean, this season is over. Maybe Manchester United will end up seven position or six position, whatever. It's over. The season is over. So, Messi Mount is going to come out against Chelsea, impress Ten Hag, if Ten Hag will still be at Manchester at all. Impress Ten Hag, and it will follow from next season. This season, we should call it done. <laughs> because how many more games left? We don't, it's not that that much. But Messi Mount, this is his chance. Who says Chelsea is winning three? Well, that's not what we're talking about. Messi Mount is going to impress. That's that's my point. That's what I'll I want to tell you. One thing. I'm gonna tell you one thing. That Stamford Bridge. Yeah, you ain't, look, what do you think you're gonna beat us at Stamford Bridge? 
Oh, at least I, I know my team's shit, yeah? But you can't beat Man City. You got stepped up. You couldn't even beat Brentford. So what do you think that you're going to stand the bridge and try and turn us up? Oh, right, and you think there's special... Right, then, you think, then you think special Mason Mag Mag Mag's going to do a magic at, at Stamford Bridge, yeah? Soon he comes to Chelsea, mate. Be raving at all the Chelsea fans, mate. That's what he'll be doing. Why he'll be playing his best me. game. But, but, Mark, you know what I'm kind of falling or failing to understand both at the same time, you know? Like, when a man said uh, they got paid, they collected money for Mason Mount, but they did not get paid, that's... You know, like, uh, they might have well, used the money in a certain... Is, I'm not, not talking not, to you, sir. Let's not bring this back again. I'm not... This is why he's an irritant. Did I, did I say down, that? Chelsea, yeah, down, bro, down, bro, let bro, me bro, talk, bro. please. I, I did not speak between you. So, Paul, for you as well, I can talk on how I want to. But thank you. So, I just failed to understand, right? But that's me. Uh, some people understand the maths. Uh, that's how their maths work. Uh, God bless them. But I'm pretty sure tomorrow is going to be a very good, uh, interesting game, right? Uh, I, I'm not sure about uh, what you know. Mount for Bellendor said about uh, Mason Mount showing up. Shape, take me out of your pockets, bro, please. I can hear it. Uh, I'm not too sure about <laughs> how exactly uh, Mount might perform or fit in the team, but. Uh, I am really hopeful as to us winning the game. That, that's what I can. You don't. Hope you don't for. think. You don't think he would start. Um, to begin with, n not sure. Not sure. To be very honest, because uh, considering the amount of uh, injuries we've had, and with Martinez going back into injury and Lindelof also being injured, I think he he has to now finally, because we don't have a fitness coach at the club, so he has to now manage it in a certain way that he can't really put uh, Mount in the mix. If he does, then I'm sure he has a plan to it, but I would not want him to do that. I would want him to go with the same uh, Bruno, Kobe Manu and Casemiro midfield, which is absolutely an upgrade on the last one we went ahead and played against Chelsea with. Cool, cool, cool. Big up mm. to you. Poch, what are you saying, bro? I see you want to say something. Come in and let me see. Let me hear what you had to say now. Well, not I mean, I was just saying that, you know, the whole thing that I I, I was just saying, Ronaldo didn't need to respond because it makes sense. Like, we sold the guy. <laughs> we took money. So, you know, there was no need for that. But, um, I mean, on my thoughts of the game, um, I actually think we're going to win. You know, since since we have Chelsea, Chelsea gone, he dip, he dip. Jeez. God bless him. Thank God. Hopefully he come back. Because I was not about to say, you know, maybe we should do a combined 11 since we have two yeah. Chelsea. No, I, 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 I can do that with Poch. No. I, 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 have a, I have a feeling, like, because of how bad the, the Burnley game, like, the feeling around the game was... I have a feeling the boys are going to respond because they usually do. Like anytime they have a disappointing performance of some kind, the next game they turn up. I, I wish the charity was still here. Especially because it's against Man U. <laughs> everybody wants to be Pot, Man Potch, do you and have especially, any... And especially Potch, also do because any... we, don't, we don't lose at Stamford Bridge now. Well, no, no but, uh, you know, you're, you're Hodge, do you have any new injuries United coming up? Um, Wait, Mark, do we have? Yeah. Do they have any new injuries coming up? What do you mean coming up? Uh, uh, coming up as in for this match, like uh, this from, game? after the Burnley game, did you have any injuries? Um, well, Malogusto and Chaloba were injured, but they just started training, so they are back. Um, I, I, I meant players going out, not coming back in. Players going out. Ben Chilwell. Ben Chilwell's out. Ben Chilwell's out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Chilwell don't matter, bro. Against no, no, no. I, no, I was just asking, game. Mark. I was just asking about from the last game that they played to this game, how is their team looking based only on two, Only Chilwell's out. But we've had, only Chilwell we've had I think, three okay. players returning back from injury. Okay, yeah, so they might not guys. play straight up, but yeah. Let me yeah. move. Let me move. Let me move to the line of building part. We combine the eleven, right? So, all right, we go and make two determinations around the board now. What's the formation we playing? Is it a four four two, or are we going to play a four three three or a four three two one? Four three two one. No, I think I think both teams play a four two three one, right? So we yeah. should use the formation that both teams play. It'll be easier. 
Okay. Right, because four, United two, play a four two three one, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, we also play the same thing. So, also we're going on uh, form and record this season, not uh, what they did maybe you know ten ten twenty years ago. By the way. Okay. Cool. We don't have so, players who have done anything ten so, twenty so here, years ago. So. so here we do it, right? We we starting with the goalkeeper and the defense, you know, and basically everybody across the board is six of us here. You know, everybody will have a say on who they think should be the start the person starting in the position. The majority will rule, right? So, at the end of the day, hopefully we fair enough. We'll give Poch FC, Poch FC a little extra because you know he's the only Chelsea fan in here. Pur- purposely, we will say that you know M- Mount for Ballandor is supporting Poch FC. So, big up to him. Who who told you who told you who told you I'm supporting Portugal? Portugal. Well, I mean, yeah, you're neutral because he's a Barca fan, so you know you could you could afford to you know speak on the on the. Beach. And by the way, Barca Barca is doing well. Just let me just throw that out there. Doing well in third. That's good. That's good. For Barca. <laughs> Barca ain't even doing well for them on selves. I mean, like, in if, third. You know, are you, you wait wait wait? Just just Girona, a quick question. So uh, Mount for Ballon d'Or. Are you guys still selling the grass? Can I still have uh, the marriage at the club? Who said who the said they are selling grass? They are uh, they, selling they, grass, bro. They were it's selling guys, grass. Before you derail the conversation. It's not true. Listen, if can you guys agree? want, we can have another we can have another session and I'll tell you how we make money. You guys uh, have you, no idea. We'll talk about that just now. But <laughs> even you don't. <laughs> even you don't. That the goalkeeper will be Onana. Is there any dispute there? We are I not selling should... grass. We are selling other things. Grass is not part of it. Wait, uh, Mark, I think you should uh, like make your prediction, right? And then ask uh, Poch FC for his retaliation and then everyone else can just give their opinion, if that's well, okay that, with I you. I basically yeah. asked the question because I was saying oh, Nana would be the starting goalkeeper. Yeah, so let Poch yeah. go now. That's, that's <laughs> I, what I'm I saying. I agree with that, I think. I mean, Onana, I think, currently is the best goalkeeper in the league on saves. Um, Petrovic is good, but he's not as good with his feet. Okay. So there goes Onana. Yeah. Um, left back, I would say Ben Chilwell injured, right? So have you have you had a consistent left back this season? Diego Delo. Diego Lalo. Yeah. It's been Dello. Because we left back games at left back. Kukurea yeah. and Chewa have both been injured so many times. We've had to play Alfie Gilchrist there sometimes. We played Badia Shile there. We played Levi Colwell there. We played, with, like, we've had, like, six or seven left backs this season. All right. So, so then, you know, left back is Diego Dalo. Because I yeah. don't think any of those players would get in ahead of Dalo anyway. Like, if if Chilwell was fit, like, on ability, if Chilwell, Chilwell is fit would and playing. In ahead of him, but yeah. there's no Chilwell. He's injured, as you said. So, so. You know, I, and I only did put him there because I give any a shout for the right for the right back. To be fair, because I feel like oh yeah, Malo, Malo Gusto. No, 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 right yeah. Because I think Arman Basaka this season has been too up and down. To be fair. <coughs> so I'll just go ahead and put Gusto here. Malo. Right. So. Center back pairing. Oh God! Right now, I don't know how to start this one, but since uh, can I start? I will say Varan. Yeah, you can I mean, on. like for us, if I if I typically I would say Thiago Silva, but because. The team seems to be doing better without him. It's difficult for me to make a case for him now, mm. if that makes sense. Okay. And 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 like Disasi, Disasi has been the most consistent centre back we've had. Um, and he's been good. But if Varane has been good for you, you guys have had a better defence than us. Although I don't think Maguire should get in ahead of Disasi. So if it's Maguire, I will I will say Disasi. Varane uh, and Sassi. So my 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 defensive partnership, I'm going with a partnership. It's going to be Varane and Johnny Evans. Mm. Mm. I, I, 
try and bring this Sasi in that conversation. Yep, it's uh, Varan and Johnny Evans for me. Try bringing in, try bringing in the Sassy in this conversation. Why, I would like I, to see. Why, why not? Uh, well, please go ahead, make a case. He's a good defender. What? What else? Like Johnny uh, Evans is a brilliant defender. I think Johnny Evans having a better season than him, to be fair as well. That's like, fine. I mean, I don't. Yeah, that's okay. But that's what I said. If it's Maguire, then no. No, no, definitely. <laughs> no, Maguire is Maguire's on bench. Yeah. So, Come on, Chelsea's bench. All right. Yeah, we're selling him. There. All right. Um, <coughs> I have I have one determination that I I must get into this to this to this paper here, and that will be Kobe Bainu. I will agree with that. Wait, 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 wait. Let's do the whole midfield. Uh, Poch, please tell me your midfield. My midfield might will be my midfield like three. Silence. My midfield three will be Kobe Mainu, Kaiseido, and um and Bruno. Mm. Mm, I hear the tremble, and I respect that. Good, <laughs> bro. Anyway, that, that that's my midfield as well. So, uh, man, uh, wait, Mark, oh, okay. can can we replace Caicedo with Enzo? Or because because you see, the thing is, Caicedo and Casemiro, you know, the age and the speed, kind of gives it to Caicedo. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't think I would put Enzo in the midfield. It, Enzo can't so. do the CDM, no? He no. can't. Nah, so yeah. He's yeah. More like a box to box. Yeah, Bruno, Kobe, and uh, that guy. Caicedo. You know, it worked out well because I was going to pick him anyway. I thought he would have made the midfield there. Yeah. Thought I had to make an argument for Bruno, but you'll save me a lot of time. <laughs> Bro, Mark, no, I'm mean... here. Mark, I'm here. Did you forget? <laughs> the, the alternative is 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 Conor Gallagher. I, I value yeah. Gallagher, but, but uh, offensively uh, speaking, yeah. No, uh, but the thing, but the, I would play Hannibal over him. Who? Yeah. Hannibal. People, people, people need to stop in disrespecting Hannibal. Gallagher, man. Like, That's stop. Gallagher for you. Nah. Stop, man. Like, <laughs> okay, but all right. So I'll let Poch. I, I just can't. <laughs> I'll let Poch FC start. You got to. You have to watch the guy. Actually, watch him play football. I, I watched him play football for Chelsea and England. Both time I was disappointed. Yeah, you, you, you. I mean, you know, you don't watch Chelsea that much. So I do. <laughs> Why do you think I don't? Chelsea fans don't even watch Chelsea. Just to I, 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 I watch Chelsea I, I enough do. to fight Chelsea, Dan. Guys. Focus, focus. We have three more players to get in the squad. What are we thinking here? You starting mm. with the left wing. Who is your suggestion, Poch FC? Left wing is tough. Actually, you know what I would do? Go on. I would play Nicholas Jackson on the left, Cole Palmer on the right, Rasmus Hoyland up top. <laughs> I'm going to come in with the disrespect now. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> Jesu. I will let I will let Ronald start and then I will finish. Come on, Ronald, let me hear you, your disagreement. Yeah, so uh I would go with uh Rasmus Holland up top. Absolutely. Uh someone said Nicholas Jackson, yeah, he can hold bench because my boy guard Nacho plays on the left. And uh right I can give it to Cole Palmer just for this season. Yeah. I can bench Rashford. Enough, man. What one else said? No dispute in that. They say Rasmus up top. Cole yeah. Palmer on the left. And um, Nicholas Jackson off the, the, the left. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. The right and Garnacho, Garnacho on, the on the left. And, Pal and Palmer on the right. 
Yeah. So which one do you prefer, man? The one with Palmer on the right. Palmer's on the right in both instances. Is the difference is the left winger. It's either going to be Garnacho or... Wait, Palmer Jackson. can't play right? Hmm? Palmer can't play right? No, no, no. We just need to decide who is on the left now. Palmer is uh, on the right. What are the options for the left? Nicholas okay, Nacho so so Garnacho. okay, it's Mark, fine. Mark. I'm picking Garnacho. Garnacho. I'm picking Garnacho. Manj, Manj actually said it three times that he's picking what I picked. Just put Garnacho. I it's fine. I actually did not even think about Garnacho because I thought my options were Rashford and Sterling. I just and... said that because I'm tired, man. <laughs> to be honest, I was like, yeah, this is a conversation. <laughs> but yeah, what one I said. Let's move on. Easy, you know? Yeah. Ganacho is fine. All yeah. right. So, Poch, you had a post to stay Twitter, you know. You know that, right? Wait, say again? There's the combine 11. You had a post to stay Twitter. You know that, right? Yeah, I post it. All right, cool. I'll, say, I'll share it with you to post it. That's not a bad combine 11. I think, you know, that worked out well. I think, in, in retrospect, is the best players from both teams in positions. I feel yeah. Like you know, maybe if you all had a reach James fit, we'd have had an argument, a further argument for Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. One second. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? How how is how is Maugut so like that guy over there, how is he there? I'm sorry. What do you mean? Whoa, because whoa, whoa. he's the best right back. Because he, in, he deserves the, to be there teams. on his performance. Is, is he better than Aaron Masaka? Did I yes, miss something? He yes, yes, he is. He is. What? Whoa, yes, really? he is. He can defend, and when he gets up front, he can actually deliver something useful. I don't mm-hmm. think Van Bissaka can do that. I mean, I've seen Van Bissaka do that. He just do it, does it in an unconventional way. No, but, yeah, he does Van that. Van cannot. He doesn't have the offensive output that Malagusto does. No. Yeah, not because, compared to him. Yes, fair that fair that enough. in of itself just takes Van Bissaka out of this conversation. Yeah, I think uh, we're going on the offensive, and if if it was a defensive one, then I would go with. Malugusto is also a very good defender. He's not better. He's not a better defender than Bissaka. I'm sorry. No, I'm not saying he is, but he's a. Offensively, good in- I would give it to you. Defensively, no one touches my my guy. My guy is my guy is built different. Yeah, he's the best defender. Malugusto would actually yes. put Mbappe in a spliff. Tell me that day. What? Saka did that. <sighs> what? Bro. Have you seen Malogusto against the best wingers in no. this league? In this league, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. And and my guy put Mbappe in a spliff. You do Mark, understand you that Malo- you you do understand that Malogusto came second. from the French league, right? You do Punch, understand that. Yeah, I know that. I know that. Don't okay. worry about it. Did yeah, you watch, did you, watch Le- you watched Leon oh, against on. PSG? Poch, Poch, hold on. Mark, you need to increase your volume because everyone else is on high volume. You're kind of lacking behind now. <laughs> yeah, because I'm really talking too hard now, to be fair. You yeah. have to talk too hard. Yeah, Don't you yeah, see yeah, what the is? I talk too hard now, it's late. It's like 2 a.m. So it's oh, that's why that makes 2 a.m. Bro, it's 5.30 a.m. for me and I'm here shouting. Big up to you. I am not living by myself. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, Mark, Mark says I don't want any problems. I, I'm not living by myself. I have a family problem. right here, but they What's understand. That? I have a family right here, but they understand. It's football. I'm talking to my mate. Uh, I'm I busy. Know. <laughs> I know, I know, but I'm not getting that same. I'm not gonna get that same leave like you guys, bro. Trust me. <laughs> bro, this is a good. This is a good. This is a good lineup. I think our centre backs could use. <laughs> Only here, more better now. Oh, bro, oh, bro, yeah, you're gold. Was, much better. Nah, oh, I have Mark you? back. Cool. Yeah, that yeah. Was... <laughs> My guy's <is> back. <laughs> All right, cool. Big. No Diddy. Yeah. Well, no, nah, don't time. call him Diddy, anyway, bro. <laughs> so I know in that scene, bro. To be fair, bro. from Trinidad, bro, can't be that guy. Anyway, most importantly, you know, I feel like that eleven is a good eleven. You know, if you all want to see another one, you know, it had one that. Me and the guys on them was doing earlier in my match preview when we had had that earlier, which was a little bit more inventive. It was not combined 11. It was just the Manchester United lineup and it was a little bit more creative. I don't know if you want to... Mark, if I have to ask you a question, Mm. 
a person from last season compared to a person from this season? Who are you picking? Between who? Marcus Rashford and Cole Palmer. Palmer. Last season, bro. Uh, to be honest, bro, oh, I was mad. Feel free to chime but in. On reality, last season's uh, on last season stats, I would pick Rashford. But in reality, yeah, I wanted Rashford, him sold in 2022. So no, I obviously, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But last season's Rashford compared to this season's Cole Palmer, who are we going ahead with? Rashford. I'm asking Poch. I'm asking Poch FC. Uh, I'm I'm taking Palmer. No, be, no, like Rashford was banging in goals last season. He was mm-hmm. he was so dangerous. But bro, Cole Palmer does so much more than just score goals. Yeah, he did like, more as well. Like Rashford had to more. play left wing striker. He had to play multiple positions. He had to yeah, make but that's not what I mean. Like, for, Palmer, he Palmer's had, also had to play multiple. Had, positions. It's not the understand. Position. Poch, you it's have to understand. I'm talking about. No, no, no. The... I, I know, but you also have to understand. Rashford was trying to create and play and score yeah. for someone like Wout Weghorst. Yeah, I Nicholas understand. Jackson is any day better than Wout Weghorst. I'm, I'm just, I'm not saying Rashford was a bad player. I'm just explaining the reason why I'm choosing Palm. No, I, I, I respect like, that. You can choose. You know, like that on guy. top of his goals. On top of being able to play in tight spaces, on top of being able to play on the right, playing as a number 10, playing as a number 8, playing as a false 9, sometimes playing on the left wing. Like, these are all the positions Cole Palmer has played for. I think he's actually even played, like, right wing back at some point this season. Mm. Like, yeah, the guy... I, 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 listen, him. right? I'll be honest about that whole argument there with Cole Palmer and Rashford. Uh, let me be real. Cole Palmer have a, a bright future ahead of him. And I have very high ceiling. And in my in my honest opinion, I, I love Rashford and thing, but based it on depends. current trajectory, based on current trajectory, Cole Palmer, bro, in two seasons probably will surpass Rashford. That kid has surprised everyone. Cole right? Palmer. And I just talking about how, not only the fact that he have talent. I talking about his football and meant his IQ. The way he just read the game and play the game. No, I hear you. And, and Mark, it's not Mark, even just Mark, that. Mark, you know not... what? You know what's actually like really good about the kid? Like he's he he has his head screwed on right. You know, like a lot of players when like the the fame and stuff just go into their head. Like Kopama is just he's just like cool, normal kid who doesn't want to get into any of this like nonsense. You know, mm. uh, and his uh, and be his honest. Like his mentality yeah. too is very different. Mm, fair enough, fair enough. Mark, He's Mark, a... for me, mm-hmm. uh, for me, like when I when I start judging a player, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I judge a player based on how exactly do they come back from from a serious injury. Mm-hmm. That's how I judge a player uh, in the Premier League. Because mm-hmm. a lot of players, very good quality, very good everything, one injury and they're they're done. They just can't come back. Mm-hmm. So mentality. Give give give, give a few examples. Give a few examples. Just give us a few examples. Examples of what? Players Those that, that, you, that, that you're referring yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just give a few examples of. Before there, there examples, there been a... I got a bounce. So I'll catch you guys next time. Big Sorry. up, Manj. Big up. All right, Manj. See you guys later. Big up, Manj. Coventry FC. So, so I I wanted to know a few examples of great players who went to injury and. I never said great. I just said good players, and I'm judging players after when they come back or you know make they make their comeback. So, Rashford had injuries. He came back a little bit stronger. Martial did that at least twenty five times, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, there are other there are other names as well. Who can I think of? Uh, there was this but guy you don't who think Luke Rashford... Shaw. Luke you don't Shaw. Think Rashford, 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 I think that. all three of those players you mentioned Luke Shaw actually deserve, did that. deserve to be sold two seasons. No, no, no. Mark, Mark, ago. I'm not denying that. I'm, I'm just saying, I judge a player once they come back from injury, how they're adapting to their new style and new game. Cole Palmer, I'm not taking away. I never said he's bad. I just said I'm judging him once he comes back from an injury. He's That's right true. now absolutely good. No one's taking that away from him. He's absolutely good. Whatever he does, he basically he touches whatever is gold. 
Mm-hmm. I wouldn't go on to say like some people in the Chelsea fan base are saying he's better than Prime Hazard. I would not dare say that. That's insane. That's just insane. stupid. That's that's just insane. stupid. No, 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 that I can't is say craziness, that. but yeah, that's that's just stupid. Fair, I'll be honest. Prime bro, Hazard right? was just built different, bro. That that guy was just different. I'll be honest, bro. I I I say I will say it now, right? Cole Palmer is one of the best players I see in a while off the right wing. The last time I see a player that that gave me that unpredictability that feel like, you know, he, he could be something really terrifying was Mason Greenwood. And I being real honest about that. Like, soccer for me, he ain't that good. He's disappearing too many big games. And we need people to create for him. If if he have nobody to lay it off to for that one too, he ain't going nowhere. So, you know, when you talk about clinical, devastating attackers who... When they come at a defender, the defender would probably be afraid to challenge them. Cole Palmer is one of those players, Mason Greenwood. I don't think Saka is one of those players because he don't have that change of pace, really, that you can get past most defenders in the league at this moment. You've seen it all season. So, you know, so one of those things, yeah, I'm looking forward to see what he could do, although I'm not a Chelsea fan. Like a person, a person right now can't really hate on... Cole Palmer can't. Yeah, you can't hate on him, bro. Like, be real. All Any player that playing well, doing well, young players, and especially, you know, you give them the props because at the end of the day, it's a tough league to play in, you know. And, you know, I mean, like, as much as, you know, you watch F- FC, I kind of only come here because he was talking about that trajectory going upwards, which I feel is a gross violation. Eh? But at the same time, next season, you might see something like that. It's not, bro. Like, it's not a group. This season, it is a little bit, bro. A little bit far-fetched. Because I'm being honest with you when I say this, right? Yeah. You have a tough running coming at hand, right? Even if you was to get a result against us tomorrow, you know, you're going to face Spurs, you're going to face City. I mean, hear me, you're going to face Spurs, playing, Arsenal. No, you know, you have a tough running against, coming up, bro. Against City, it's the FA Cup semi-final. It's on neutral grounds. We should have beaten... the. Two times we played CT, we should have beaten them on the football and the chances we created. Both times, like especially even at, at the at the Etihad, they got mm. lucky and Rodri got a deflected goal. Last minute, right? So that's besides the point. In the running that we have coming, like the thing that I was saying earlier on, part of why I say we are trending upwards and then you mark, you don't get. When I say since we've dropped Thiago, we haven't lost a game in 90 minutes. It's just been a small tactical shift. So really, like before the players play are United making, again, I mean, but okay, I'll listen. Before, like the players are still making a lot of mistakes, like because young players will make mistakes. No two way about that. But I can actually see, for one, more players are coming back from injury. Mm. I know. Nicholas Jackson's football like is getting better and better and better. Mm-hmm. You know, the whole team actually individually, people are playing well. Like it's hard to say this person played bad, except for maybe Raheem Sterling. Even when we play games, but then all of a sudden someone might make one mistake, and that's how we concede goals. I think that will change with maturity and with time. Like. They are young players. That's just a natural thing. But the, really just like you have young but, players, I would agree and say as at the same time in comparison, United attack is one of the youngest in the league, just like Chelsea. It's not yes, really identical but, 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 to Chelsea. But Mark, but Mark you, you see, you see, you, you make a very good point. Don't your attackers struggle to score goals? Mm-hmm. Right? It's because they are young. Like that's something that just comes with young players. They will yeah. Hoyland. I know Hoyland is going to be a top striker in the Premier League. I can already see his trajectory. So, like for him, if I say he's trending upwards, is because I can see where he what he can do. If if he's doing this at this age, he's mm-hmm. physically adapting to the league. Eventually, he's going to get karma in front of goal. He will convert more of his chances. Like imagine Hoyland. At the age of Mikel Antonio right now. Or imagine mm. Highland at uh, 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 Ivan Tony's age. Mm. If, he, if he keeps developing the way he is. 
that's See, how the I only, see. The only problem I have, Poch, with your trajectory question is yeah. if you're willing or your trajectory point, sorry, is yeah. when you're willing to stay with the manager. Because I'm hearing bare noise around Poch being and that's, so, so this is the point I've made earlier on in the stream. I don't know if you were there, but I told, I told, I even told bots that I think firing Potter actually hurt us. Like, I think we should have just stuck with, and now that we have Poch, like, we should stick with him. But that's not how big clubs move, you know? That That's not how it is. Like, but, but, too, but chill, we, too chill. But we too chill. See, the thing is, the thing we is, put Poch, too in chill. This, in this situation, this, this is the thing. We have put ourselves in this situation. So we need to stick with it. But that's the culture. That's but, what I'm trying to tell you. That what's the culture? You have to understand that your your culture is, and the owner, right, is basically in a certain place that, yes, Hodge, uh, sorry, this guy, uh, Tuchel, won everything for you, right? He did but it. Just he did not, win he, everything. He won a Champions League and a, you know... I think a, for, a, for a club who hasn't really, you know, won it too many times, should not act like they've actually won it too many times. But I'm just saying, right, that he won you that, but the yeah. very next season, just because he did not want a certain type of player or he agreed on a certain amount of players or certain players, got sacked. And then Potter got sacked way too quick. I think, didn't Lampard come in between for a few games here and there? Yeah, the owners have made mistakes and they know they Exactly. Made. Now, they that's that. what I'm they saying. If they, that. And that's why if they, they change that culture, if they change that culture about them own self, maybe what, I, what you're saying could be true. But if they continue with what they're doing, then yeah. You've heard, you've heard, you've heard Todd Bowley speak recently, have you? If you follow, I don't, I don't really religiously follow him, but uh, yeah. he what just, were his he quotes? Just a, he just did an interview with Forbes, and he said it. You know, he said the same thing. He said, "Look, like I understand, like we we are learning a lot. They are new. They admit that they've made mistakes, but at this point, really, what needs to happen is that." They just need to allow the players to grow and stick with the plan. Yeah, so again, he's sticking with the players because he has no other choice. He's given them eight years of contract. But changing is he going to stick with the manager? Changing the manager is just going to destabilize that even more. Then there will be no growth because a new exactly. coach comes in. Yes, so they That's know that they I'm need saying. to him. Yeah. That's what I'm if, saying. Like, if they his fire point, him, it will make no sense. That's what I'm saying. His point, again, goes back to saying we need to, cult, you know, cult, basically cultivate these players and make them into something better absolutely yeah. agreed you, you know but then you know, again you know what i expected actually mm -hmm. here's my thing i think chelsea like a lot of the time when people talk about chelsea we don't talk like fans are fans you know we don't put things into context the way like people are people are upset now because the new ownership are not talking to them and like this the whole chelsea fan base is upset they are going to create make the place toxic it's it's like it's some nonsense that's been going around but really if you think about it right i actually like what these owners are doing i actually like what they, they are doing with this club because abramovich did what he did 20 plus years ago when he came in and he bought chelsea and then he changed the landscape of english football Wait, is but, Mark sleeping? No, I'm right no, 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 he's oh. listening. But right, but, <laughs> but, but what Abramovich didn't do, because for him, like he didn't take any money out of the club. It was just like it was like a play thing for him. He just kept throwing money at it. The club was not run sustainably. Like when he sold the club, he had to forgive us all all the debt. Like the club owed him over a billion or so pounds. He had to forgive that, right? That's not a sustainable business plan. That's number one. Number two, we are just finding out he did some like shady dealings that is probably going to come out to hurt us. So actually, when these new owners came, they did the investigation and had to go and self-report Chelsea to UEFA and to the Premier League that, hey, we just found this in the, in the accounts, right? UEFA fined us $8 million or whatever and said, okay, go away, don't do it again. The Premier League is still trying to investigate more. We're probably going to get fined or something. So Abramovich is like Chelsea fans are so we want him back. He's not he wasn't perfect. And since Antonio Conte won the league in 2017, we've not come anywhere near competing for the league in seven years. 
So like people can cry for Tuchel and Abramovich's era, like we were never near the league ever in the last seven years. So these new owners have come in and they've realized two things. Okay. Everybody that had anything to do with Abramovich's era needs to be out of this building before the Premier League comes and start investigating things. So they came in and they fired everyone. They fired everybody to clean house. Right? And then they had to refresh the entire squad. The problem was when they bought the team, there was no footballing brain in the team because they fired everybody. Even Peter Cech left. So they had to trust Tuchel. And Tuchel recommended all these players that now we're having to sell again. Kulibali, Raheem Sterling, Fofana has been injured for how many years now? We bought all these players on the recommendation of Tuchel. And we've had to sell Kulibali after a season. Even Kukurea. As we should, like all the players we got based on Tuchel's recommendation. I don't know which one of them has been good. So it was good that the sporting directors came in like six months later and said, we're changing course. And I'm, you know, I didn't like the timing, but Tuchel honestly needed to go. Bro, I'm really sorry, uh, Mark. I have to go. I have to drop. Big up I'm to really you, sorry, bro. Big up one. to you. All the best. Uh, I all hope right, tomorrow's right a good game for you as well. I all hope right, you bro. all enjoy. It's going to be a shit game for him, bro. They're going to lose at home. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm just score. saying, I hope he has Maybe a good game. Like one of the hope Palmer of gets season. one goal. Uh, that should be good enough for Poch FC. And uh, Nicholas Jackson sleeps. I, I just want uh, Johnny Evans to put him to sleep. Watch out, though. Watch out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're going to be watching all watch out, four watch goals. Out for, one, watch out for my little boy. His name is Garnacho. I hope you have enough fullbacks wait, 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 which, tomorrow. Garnacho, Garnacho is playing on which side, left or right? He can play Russell both. Nutter. That's the that's the beauty of it. Well, no, but you like, where do you think, do you think he's actually skates. going to play? He's going to play? He's going to play on the right, most likely. Okay, and then Rashford on the left? Yeah. Okay. Of course. I think so that, we're that would get make, rest that would so make, I think those uh, are the two wait, 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 Mark. Mm. Mark, one second. That would make Gusto be on Rashford's side. Yeah. Who Who's going to be your right back? Who? Left, huh? right back will be Gusto. Right back will be Gusto. Sorry, left back, left back. Left, left back is going to be Kukurea. Hmm. <laughs> Cooked. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> No. Cool. no. You you would hear you would watch hair running around. Watch the game tomorrow, my guy. You you do understand that defending is the one thing Kukurea is good at. He's not good at anything. Absolutely. Else. And trust me, okay. my boy is just good at one thing: spinning people around. Yeah. The only if he can't do style. if he can't do it if he can't do it, I have a Brazilian who's certified G. Came from the Eredivisie. He's certified at spinning people. The guy who cannot even beat uh, champion, champion <laughs> Baba Raman. Baba Raman is from my country. You know how many people, you know how many players dribble against no, Baba Raman. See, see, see. I, but Poch FC, I respect Mark too much, so I had to do some Anthony prop before I go. <laughs> he appreciates it. <laughs> bro, so, you can say what you want about Anthony prop right now, bro. And Poch FC could say what he want about Baraman and Baraman, right? When Anthony comes up your side, your when, side this season, when Anthony is, is spinning, <laughs> when I'm, spinning. Spinning. Let me tell I'm out of here. In the last season, last season when we bung, when we played Chelsea in the game we beat Chelsea, where Anthony was doing getting the assist. I just want you to remember that this I season, remember, brother, bro, this season, my boy just scored recently. Had a yeah, good game. But, but Confidence if, is coming if, back if, into the. If boots. he plays on the right, Kukurea is going to stop him. Bro, Actually, he can play off the left. Watch me. You see the formation here? This is the formation you're facing tomorrow. This formation's going four near, bro. I just let you know now. Do you think? I, t- I guarantee you this formation's going four near. Monk, Ahmad, Hoyland, Anthony, or Bruno. Take your pick. It have five options there that go and score four from. You should be yeah. good in the midfield because you have no space on the out. Uh, like on the your wingers, we are locking both of them down. That's that much I can tell you. We are locking both of them down. So, so you really think 
Yeah. That won some. That do well. All right, let me just say Ghana should play off the right. Who's your yeah. left back? Marco Correa. Bro, he will eat that for breakfast. Are you sure? I am telling you. He will who have that think, on roller who, skates. Who, who do you think is a better dribbler, Ganacho or who? Who will I even bring in here? I don't think it's anybody on the team. Has, I mean, maybe Cole Palmer. Other than that, nobody else. Yeah. And I sure, pretty much sure Cole Palmer is put, is put Gusto on roller skates in training. Yeah, Palma is good there. Right, Ganacho and watch me in see the Well, I did. I don't know. I mean, not see my thumbnail for tonight. It's Ganacho and and Palma on the thumbnails because to me those are the danger men on both teams. So the only difference is I just really really think that Ganacho might get a little rest because we are Liverpool on the weekend as the bigger game. So maybe he comes on as a substitute, whereas you know Ahmad gets a start. And this is the problem for you all. If he do some kind of madness and break, and start Ahmad or Ahmad and Anthony and bench Rashford and, and Ganacho, I think it's even a worse situation for Chelsea. They will guaranteed lose. No, no, no. I think you should play Rashford, bro. Nah, you see, you see, I we're understand going to play that. Play line tomorrow. I'm sure, I'm sure Poch is yeah. going to push us up. So if you play Rashford, you'll get spaces in behind. True, you know, but listen to what I'm saying now, right? I don't, I don't care about Rashford getting in behind. I care about players who want to run at you for 90 minutes and cause you a problem for 90 minutes, right? And you see it's Ahmad a, playing for a big, starting position, a game. Anthony getting back in form. Bro, I think that will be a more fluid front line than if I play Rashford. <clears throat> I could see chance creation for the striker in this forward line. If, 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 Anthony, and Dia, if, and if Anthony and Ahmad... Both want to receive the ball to their feet before they take on a player. They are getting locked down. That's no. the point I'm trying to make. Yeah, I don't remember something. We have a big body striker, bro, who's quick, fast, and powerful, and very good on his feet, right? Yeah. So you have to, you have to also consider that these two fellas here might might create well for him, and you know, drawing your defender out, leaving him leaving him. Probably one on one in most circumstances because Bruno Roven around the edge of your box is a bad option for Chelsea. You cannot leave Rasmus Hoyland one on one. You don't have a, a centre back that could handle him by himself. Yeah, but we are not leaving him one on one. So how are you going to mark him out? Think about it carefully. Watch my front four. This is why I'm if saying. Bruno, if these four men hit your box against your four, your four, your back four, yeah, who you have that stopping Rasmus? One on one, no one. When when you say one on one, what do you mean? Like, all right, picture it like this. Picture like, we on picture we on a break coming up. Picture is like a foot. Picture y'all was in a mid block, right? Because I feel yeah. like y'all not going to play a super high line. Y'all probably play a mid a mid high line, right? So picture uh, the ball. The ball get all they had a we have in a quick counter. The ball over the top. Ahmad coming along the left. Your defender pull into Ahmad. Bruno running, darting towards the left, hand, the left hand side of the field. You know, Rasmus Hoyland starting to break, but he's he holding a central line running forward. Anthony coming down the left hand side, right? Yeah. Ahmad on the ball. Let me just say that ball was to be whipped in first time to Rasmus Hoyland. First of all, I don't think a defender beating him for pace. Secondly, he not beating him for power. So, you ain't a problem there. And then look at Anthony. Anthony left-footed. If he swing the ball in from where he is, there more problems. So this team is a more dynamic team in terms of with the effort levels. Yeah. No, that's true. That's but, true. But you know, like at the same time, you know, when we did the combined eleven, fair enough to 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 you know your team. Like as a man, will never disrespect. At the same time, I just feel like this year is not your year. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, this man. is a team that's young. They still have a lot to learn. They still have a lot of performing to do before they get into a situation where they could compete for a trophy. I think a lot of the fans went a little bit too crazy based on the talent and the, you know, the ceiling of a lot of these young players you all sp spent a lot yeah. of money on. I feel like in real, 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 realistic nature is next season all they're hoping to actually kick on from this. I think the season was always going to be where you all finish within between 9th and 11th. I said that 
on stream live at the beginning of the season. Well, anyway, big up to that. But this is the Combine 11, guys. For those of you now tuning in or those of you watching in the non-live section, don't forget to smash a like and subscribe and and hit the notification bell. I think we are only eight away from a 1,000 subscribers on Football Power. Guys, don't forget to smash a like and subscribe and do share it around. Help the channel grow. Those of you tuning in on X, don't forget to give it a retweet. Big up to all of those who are joining us earlier in Ronald. Botswana Poppy had to make a move, so he left me with the keys. You know, big up to all of those who came in. Manj, you know, big up to Chelsea Dan. You know, and of course, big up to you, Poch FC. Big up, big up. Any last views, any last, you know, score prediction that you might have for the game tomorrow? Because it's going to be a big one at the bridge. Yeah. I, man. Uh, Let's see. 2-1 Chelsea. 2-1 2-1 Chelsea. Yeah. Well, I don't know about that, but, you know, if I go anything on looking at the combined 11, where I see Onana in goal, Rafael Varane, partner Johnny Evans with Diego Dallo at left back, Kobe Mainu in the, in, the pe- in the pivot, Bruno in the 10, Alejandro off the left and Hoyland up top, I would say I'm seeing enough players there that's going to be a detriment to you and that hopes of getting have, a 2-1 you have, victory. You, you, you have this many players here this season because of your position on the league. Oh, that's fair. That's fair, my bro. I'm I'm not, I'm just being a little bit of a banter to I be know. fair. That is, and you know is, what? This but is, to this be... is what? I think I think you have a good like you have a really solid defense. Mm. Right? So even in games when you struggle, you you do well to not lose. True, true, true. I would I would kind of agree with that in some instances, but my biggest issue this season with the players is showing up with a consistent level of determination and hundred and, and effort, you know, and I think that was what we sorely lacked this season. Consistent effort, determination, yeah. and the will to fight 90 minutes, you know. But there again, with, with that saying, I still think we're gonna beat Chelsea 4 1. To be honest, oh, I feel what? like Rasmus. No, to be fair, I think Rasmus Hoyland is going to have two goals at least a brace in this game. And I think Mason Mount is going to score a goal, and maybe between Ahmad and Anthony might bring up the rare. You never know. What? So you think you're going to go? You think you're going to score four goals at the bridge? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I'm being honest. <laughs> Yeah, you could laugh at that, but you know, we did that four years ago and it wasn't a good sight, you know. So if you remember COVID season, you get smacked four. You know, so don't who forget. Who was the coach then? Do you remember? Hmm? It doesn't matter who, who was the coach then. All that matters Lampard. is that one of the guys who scored two and had an assist was it Bruno was Fernandez Lampard. and he's captain this season. You know what I'm saying? That's the biggest Lampard factor. Another Frank guy Lampard who scored in the game was Marcus Rashford. So don't forget, that there's the go- two of the goals, three of the goals already scored. Yeah. It's starting in that, it's probably going to start in 11, you know? So it's one of those things. I would just say to this, it's going to be an entertaining watch because, you know, everyone is wanting to see what is going to happen in that game. But I would assure you guys. You you are the only, you are the only top six team that we... Um, have not beaten. Or have not gotten a result we, against well, well, in the actually, last five years. And that's a fact. In the first round, before we before we lost to Liverpool. You lost to us. We had lost to you. But when we played Liverpool at the bridge, like we should have won that game. Yeah, so, but if you're probably gonna see the same thing, you know, when they played United at the bridge, we should have won that game, but we lost four one. Sounds like that's probably no, no, but same. like so, no. So this is where I I was saying, like for for the game against you guys, mm. we were terrible, bro. What? We were terrible. We were so we were bad. Chelsea, bro. Like that was the <laughs> I mean, game against you. No different than like, the other season. You know, listen, listen. Here's the season, problem, right? You would I'm, say you was terrible. I would say it like this: in tact, in for the tacticals watching, I would say that your tactical setup and the way you executed. Oh, the way we set up tactically is is a counteraction for your everything positive about your system. So therefore, immediately your system is not on void when you're playing against us. This is what I noticed from playing against Chelsea. To be fair, so it's one of those things, bro. 
just being real. I just being you know real. I, feel I think like we, we I think we gave the ball away too many times in very hundred percent. But also in both games last season and this se- the game this season, Man United have done one thing in common over the last three games. In the first fifty minutes, we had more than seven chances on your goal. We just weren't clinical at all. So it's one of those things where if we could find clinicality in the first fifteen minutes of the game tomorrow, I probably think Chelsea gonna be down like two 0 Let's let's see. Yeah. So I just, I just I just hope I just hope that with all of this you come out and you come to play. Hundred percent, and that's on both spectrums, both fan bases, Chelsea this, and United. The, the one thing I'm worried about is if you sit back, that's mm. how you might beat us, bro. Whether we sit back or we or we come at you all. If you come out, if you me. come at, if you trust come at me. us, you're going to lose. Watch me. Listen to what I tell you. Watch me. <laughs> We come at you all. If we only if we score the first goal, it will it be a more. Matter. If it we score matter. in the first ten minutes, it doesn't the first matter. goal in the first ten minutes. I just saying, if United score the first goal in the first ten minutes, he will at we least beat you. Like we beat you all probably more than four. Draw. If we score in the first twenty minutes, it's four one guaranteed. We're gonna beat you all by four goals. I tell you, you are not winning tomorrow. That match is a fact. Your best is a draw. <laughs> That's Keep your dreaming, point. my bro. Keep dreaming. <laughs> big up to you, Poch FC, and big, big up to up, everybody man. watching. It's been your host, Mark and MUFC fan on the Football Power Hour Match Day re- Preview. You know, it's Chelsea at home at the bridge, and the Reds going there to burn it all down in Manchester United. And you know, that's what we're here to see. As much as Poch FC is the boy, is the homie. We're still going to drop you up, my friend. I hope you have a good night. Big up to all of you watching. This has been Football Power Hour. And big up to all you. Cheers. Hope you all have a great night. And tune in tomorrow, guys, where we will be facing against the, the one and only Chelsea. And hopefully Manchester United takes it away and leaves the scene with a victory. Guys, your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to leave your comments. Don't forget to leave any criticisms that you might have. Or, you know what? Basically, just leave a comment. Tell us what you think about the game. Leave a match preview, a prediction, you know, a scoreline prediction, and let's see how it goes. Big up to all of you, and we'll be catching you later. Bruno Fernandes!